Good evening and welcome everybody to Redwood College's third worship evening. For those of you who don't know, my name is Tyron and uh, I'm not only the sports director but I also have the privilege of being the campus pastor. Even though we are unable to meet in our awesome hall, we are trusting that as you are in your homes and as you are watching online, that this would be a powerful and special evening as we rest in the presence of our King and give Him all the praise and the glory that He deserves. I want to say a big thank you to The Rock Church for allowing us to use their incredible facility and all their technology to make this possible. There is a lot of significance in a name, and I briefly want to share with you the powerful meaning behind our Redwood name and logo. Redwood trees are the tallest trees in earth, and uh, our slogan at Redwood is to stand tall. And what this means is that as followers of Jesus, we don't want to hide away or blend in with the crowd, but rather we want to be those lights on top of a hill. We want our light to shine bright, and we don't want to conform to the patterns of this world, but we want to live in a different way, the way of Jesus. And we trust that as we do this, that this would attract the world and wanting to know why we love and care the way in which we do. Redwood trees also have a unique root system. And uh, even though they are tall trees, their roots don't go that deep. They actually branch out sideways and they intertwine with the roots of the other trees. And this speaks of an interdependence, a deep care for one another. And at Redwood, we believe that we are better together. You'll see that our logo is represented by the Redwood trees standing tall with the word of God as its soil. And just like in the story of the wise man and the foolish man, we want to be a school that builds our house upon the rock that is Jesus. We don't want to just be hearers of the word. We want to be doers of the word and be obedient to that which the word commands us. And uh, even though storms may come our way, when we live in such a way, this will enable us to stand firm against those storms. And lastly, you will see a cross right at the center of our logo. And it's when we remember how much God loves us, that he sent his son to die a death that we deserve. And we allow that love to transform us from the inside out. We want to show the world that same love because they desperately need the love of the Father. I want to introduce to you the team tonight that will be leading us in worship. And what is really cool that um, even though they are great musicians, they are really, really good friends of mine. Uh, I've had the privilege of knowing all of them for over 15 years. And so on keys, we have Garth. On uh, the drum box, we have Alana. On guitar and vocals, we have Paul. And uh, last but not least, on vocals, we have my beautiful wife, Angela. And I want to remind us tonight that uh, this is not just a performance for you to enjoy, but uh, this is a time where we get to worship together. And so we'll have the words on the screen, and I encourage you that no matter what you are facing at the moment, to take your eyes off the things of this world. And uh, there's a song that says, if we turn our eyes upon Jesus, that the things of this world will actually start to grow strangely dim. And uh, let us never, ever lose the wonder of being able to come into the presence of our King. And so, yeah, I'm trusting that tonight is going to be an awesome evening. Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Lord, that tonight as we come into your presence, as we lift up praise, as we raise a hallelujah, the position of our hearts change. We get to see more of you. Thank you for your presence closer than the breath in our lungs. So even now as we come in your name into your presence to worship, to honor you, we say we hunger and thirst for you, Jesus. I'll raise a hallelujah in the presence of my enemy. a hallelujah louder than the unbelief I'll raise a hallelujah my weapon is a melody I'll raise a hallelujah to fight for me I'm gonna sing in the middle of a storm louder and louder you're gonna hear my praises roar up from the ashes 
hope will arise Death is defeated The King is alive I raise a hallelujah With everything inside of me I raise a hallelujah I will watch the darkness flee I raise a hallelujah In the middle of the mystery I raise a hallelujah your hold on me I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm louder and louder you're gonna hear my praises roll up from the ashes hope will arise death is defeated the king is alive I'm gonna sing I'm gonna sing in the middle of a storm louder and louder you're gonna hear my praises roll up from the ashes hope will arise death is defeated the king is alive sing a little Sing a little louder. 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 Oh, sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder. Sing a little louder In the presence of my enemies Sing a little louder Louder than beyond belief Sing a little louder My weapon is a melody Sing a little louder Heaven comes to fight for me Sing a little louder Louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises roll up from the ashes. Hope will arise, death is defeated, the king is alive. I'm gonna sing in the middle of a storm. Louder and louder, you're gonna hear my praises roll right from the ashes hope will arise death is defeated the king is alive I'll raise a hallelujah I'll raise a hallelujah As we worship this evening, I can't help but think of Paul and Silas in a dungeon in chains, having done nothing wrong but share the good news of Jesus Christ. In utter darkness, they can't see a thing, they can't move because of the chains. They could have been waving their fists at the injustice.
but instead they chose to put their weapon to work. Their weapon was a melody. They began to exalt Jesus, began to lift up praise. And amidst the darkness, the one who is light came. Amidst the chains, the one who is freedom came. I believe that as we praise, two things can happen. We position our hearts in a way that receives the peace of God, receives the perspective of God that He is over all and in all and He works through all. And the second thing that happens is we invite the power of God to intervene where the chains are broken and the light comes and the prison doors are opened. So I encourage you, lift up your voice, lift up your praise this evening and expect God to intervene. Because this is how I fight my battles. 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 It may look. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. Cause this is how I fight my battles. 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 See me look. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded. Peace, bring it all to peace. 
The storm surrounding me, let it break at your name still. Cold sea to still, the rage in me to still every wave at your name, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. You silence fear, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. Breathe, breathe, call these bombs to live. Call these lies to sing once again. I will praise Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus. You silence fear, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness tremble, Jesus, Jesus, sing your name is a lie. Your name is a lie that the shadows can't deny. Your name cannot be overcome. Your name is a lie forever lifted high. Your name
praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on your praise. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on my lips. Your praise will ever be on my lips, ever be on. and saints we sing worthy are you Lord you will be praised you will be praised with angels and saints we sing worthy are you will be praised you will be praised you will be praised with angels and saints Jesus, we just want to say that you are worthy, Lord God. We just want to lift up a shout of praise to you, Lord God, that everything that is inside of us, Lord God, that we would just be able to pour it out, Lord God. I thank you that we are your children, Lord Jesus, and we can bring all of who we are to you, Father God. We can bring our fears and our frustrations, our happiness, our joy. We can bring our every day, every moment, Lord Jesus, and we can sit in your feet, Lord God, because you are good and you love us, Lord Jesus. You love all of us, Father. I thank you that you don't make parts of us go and sit in a corner, Lord Jesus, but you love it. You love it when we bring our whole selves, Lord God, because you love to give us hope, Lord Jesus. You love to speak life over us. You're always in the room, Lord Jesus. I thank you, God, that for every person who is watching, Lord God, that you are in the room. If we just close our eyes, if we can just picture you in front of us, Lord. We can just picture your face. We can just picture the words that you would say, Lord Jesus. You are so good. You are always good, Lord Jesus. Let the king of my heart be the mountain where I run, the fountain I drink from, oh, he is my song. Let the king of my heart be the shadow where I hide, the ransom for my life, oh, he is my song. You are good.
Thank you, Lord, that you have not left us behind. Thank you, Lord, that ashes do not mean that you've disappeared. 
You are the God who brings the beautiful out of the ash. You continue to pursue us, Lord. You continue to draw near us.
you're the one you need to hear that you're the one he leaves the 99 for that he's coming after you that he sees all that it looks hopeless but he knows he knows and he loves you and you're the one he's coming for he's never gonna let you go Let the ruins come to life. So let the ruins come to life in the beauty of your name. Rising up from the ashes, God, forever you reign. And my soul will find refuge in the shadow of your wings. I will love you forever. And forever I'll sing Let the ruins come to life In the beauty of your name Rising up from the ashes God forever you reign And my soul will find refuge In the shadow of your wings I will love you forever This evening is that your grace would find every person where they're at as they push into your presence as they turn their eyes upon you Lord Jesus they would find the beautiful one things of this world would 
surely pass away and fade away into the distance and grow strangely dim. I pray that your peace, your hope, your joy would flood their homes, flood their minds, flood their hearts. For in your presence is fullness of joy. We love you, our King Jesus. Sure, it almost uh, seems wrong to end a moment like this. Um, Just where we are right now, God's presence is right here in a very tangible way. And uh, I just believe this evening that uh, He would encourage each and every one of us to make time to do this every day. That we don't need to wait for the next Redwood worship evening. That we don't need to wait for our next Sunday gathering But as we make time, just like Mary did, to sit at the feet of Jesus, that despite how busy life is, that when we do that, that we can find that peace and that joy that we need in a very uncertain time. And uh, I want to encourage you that God's love is not dependent on what you do, that uh, His love is based on who we are. And there's that verse that says that Jesus, who knew no sin, He became the sin of the world so that we could be the righteousness of God. And my prayer is that you would catch a glimpse of how much God loves you this evening. And it's not based on what you do. And that we can have a confidence knowing that we can come into His presence as we are any time of the day. And He is right there waiting to embrace us and to give us what we need. So I want to say thank you for joining us. I want to encourage you as you have watched this live to share this time with other people that may be able to just soak in His presence and get what they need. And uh, we'll be doing this again in the fourth term. Our next worship evening date is the 21st of October. And so we look forward to having more people join us. We don't know whether we'll be in the school hall or not, but uh, we want to make time to just gather together as His bride and His church to give Him all the praise and the glory that He deserves. So I want to say thank you to the Rock Church once again for this facility, to the band for leading us in this beautiful time of worship and being able to sit at His feet and rest in His presence. And uh, we want to say, God bless, stay safe, and thank you for joining us this evening.